Hello and welcome back to Kitchen Impact. Today we're gonna run around and do some random road quests in Sumeru. Now I'm not 100% sure these quests are in all the marked locations. Like there should be one here. Close that do the old cargo ship has just been unloaded don't worry ship didn't leak right and about the cargo all hidden yes all hidden somewhere safe and secret but what about the old stuff that has been replaced just throw them away it's a new cargo in hand the old stuff is of no use it, is that okay character was looking at it hmm Probably should have prepared a bit better. Yeah, I definitely should have prepared a bit better. But I did bookmark them. So we'll go look at the bookmark. Let's see, the quest is the price. It says here the price of the road quest. Start the quest by opening a common chest located on the back side of the roof of the building. Okay. So it's a quest from a chest. Roof of the back, ah. Ooh, the box is open. It's surprisingly easy. Box could have something to do with those two Fatui. Um, anyway, let's see what it has first. Looks like there's only some worn clothes and a stack of letters. It says, To the south of Divan Taka Mountain, the old ship leaves port. What does this mean? How can there be a ship in the mountain? Maybe it's some kind of code. Well, we'll just have to figure it out. Investigate the usual place. Okay. Um. We could come up the arm and get out, right? No. Okay, so we will teleport here. That other one I'm pretty sure is inside as well. If he hits me, is that gonna knock me down? Hmm, might have to run up there because of how many of the teleport things there are. The south of Dumantaka Mountain. That's a huge area. The view is good here. Let's wait and see if there's anyone coming. So you wait with Paimon. Look, someone's coming this way. Why are you so late? Did you run into any trouble? Sorry, someone must have opened the box. I'm afraid our plan... Did we get caught? But it's not like the higher-ups have sent anyone here lately. Maybe it was Nika? Those kids have been badgering me to take them out to play. That's why I told you not to get too close to those folks, unless necessary. But their parents are always away from home. I just... Forget it. Either way, we're leaving here today. Leaving? Do they mean leaving Sumeru? We don't have any helpers. Can the plan work? I mean, what if the higher-ups found out about us? 
Stop worrying. Haven't you had enough? Living in fear, never to be trusted for a single second. Today is our last chance to get away from the Fatui. I know, but these two want to leave the Fatui? I'll go have a look. Okay, but be careful. They are Fatui after all. Hmm. Are they dating? Heh <laughs> someone has shown up after all. You found me? You've been eavesdropping for a while without moving. As the wind blew just now, the bush you were hiding in swayed differently from the one next to it. Y you Fatui are something. Blonde hair and a strange Sealy? You must be the traveler mentioned in the report. That's right. Enter here, I assume you have checked the stuff in the box. I'm surprised that Alexandra's trick actually worked. So you said all those things just for me to hear. As you heard, Alexandra and I want to get away from the Fatui. Stop looking at me like that. For your information, we're neither higher-ups in power nor frontline soldiers. We are at best some pawns left in a random place waiting to be deployed. There are plenty of people like us, but most of them won't get any orders all their lives. Being a Fatus, one could only simply live the rest of their life in the distrust from others. We don't want to end up like that. Instead of wasting life here, we'd rather take the risk and free ourselves from the Fatui. But getting away is far from easy. If we get caught, there will be serious consequences. So we sought up a plan to fake death in an attempt to escape. But our death must be proved by someone who is convincing. Traveler, you are such a notorious figure for the Fatui and <laughs> you've always been at odds with the Fatui. You are the the ideal witness to the death of two Fatui. What if I had to come here today? Then we would go back and suspend the plan until you come. We've been planning this for so long it wouldn't hurt to wait a bit longer. Traveler, now that we've told you the whole story, it's your choice if you want to help. If your answer is yes, we'll give you a handsome reward, amount of rewards in return. Don't worry, the money is earned by doing serious work, I can assure you. I cooked dinner for those kids, sewed clothes, told stories, and took them out. And Prizahava helped others with hunting and handling prey. If we manage to leave the Fatui, we will make a living out of these skills and... Enough, Alexandra. That's too much information. No, oh, right. Okay. Anyway, it's all up to you, Traveler. Aren't you afraid I'd back out? Then we'll fight as hard as we can, and in the end, die at your hands. Sounds much more like our original plan, right? You'd better have enough money. Of course, it'll be very generous amount. Then it's a deal. Now let's go separate ways and get ready. Alexandra, you go take care of that. Traveler, please follow me. Hmm. <laughs> Can't help but feel this might be a trap. I mean, it seems like good intentions, and I could probably trust them, but... This is the place, Traveler. Listen, it's a simple plan. We are two <clears throat> evil Fatui coming over to this forest for some evil doing. And you, out of indignation or righteousness, try to stop us. Just as Alexandra and I are about to run, a group of monsters appears and strikes us down. Being outnumbered by the monsters, you have no choice but to pull back. When you are back with helpers, Alexandra and I are already gone. That's the plan. What do you think? This sounds like how the Fatui would end up. <laughs> well crafted, I have to say. For the story to make sense and our failure to seem more natural, I've put a lot of thought into it. But why has Alexandra returned by now? Just setting up some lures for monsters doesn't take that long. Alexandra? Alexandra? Sob. Wait, Paimon heard someone over there. Shoot, Alexandra must be in trouble. Hey, wait, where are you going? Let's follow. What happened? She used the lure and monsters attacked her. Hup. 
So many monsters. Why are there monsters showing up at this time? Why is Nika here? Traveler, join me and defeat the monsters first. Sorry. <clears throat> Priz Hubba. Don't talk. I'll patch you up. I'm so sorry. Why are you here? I'm here to pick mushrooms. Alexandra looks so sad these days. So we talked about cooking something great to surprise her. Alexandra once took us here and picked all the delicious mushrooms, and I thought I'd pick some myself. But I got lost in the woods, and before I knew it, I was surrounded by so many mushrooms. To save me, Alexandra? Alexandra? It's okay, Dika. I'm fine. Looks like there's a change of the plan. Alexandra sustained serious injuries. Another Fatui must have noticed that we left the town without permission. If I take her back now, we will only get arrested for inspection. Then what do you do now? <laughs> Just go along with it and see what will happen. I happen to see a group of the Aramites headed this way on my way here. Traveler, you send the kid off to the f off the forest to the Aramites. I will take Alexandra and leave. Remember our plan. Looks like now we have to do it for real. The Aramites must think that two evil Fatui are doing something evil here, and that saving Nika is just a cover-up. If we come under attack by the monsters, well, it serves us right. Alexandra, I will never make trouble again. Good thing this kid didn't have the mood to listen to what we just said. No need to worry about him. But what you did was for saving the kid. Trust me, you would believe in the Fatui's heroic sacrifice. The evil Fatui eating their own bitter fruit is much more acceptable. Remember the place where you eavesdropped on Alexandra and me for the first time? If we manage to get away, I will leave a letter there. So you knew from the beginning. It's only one chance, we have to be careful. We should save Alexandra first. I'm fine, Traveler. <clears throat> I could take it. But if we miss this chance to get out of the Fatui, I'd rather... <clears throat> Alexandra, where are you going? Please come back with us. Everyone is looking for you. Listen, Nika. The Traveler will take you back. I'm gonna take a rest here. I will be back if I'm feeling any better. But... but... When did I ever lie to you? Hmm, just be a good boy, will you? Okay. Traveler, please take good care of him. I'll be right back. Thank you, Traveler. Take Nika to the Aramites. I didn't know this errand could take that long. How exhausting. Wait, who's there? Nika and Traveler, what are you doing here? Please take care of Nika. We are running out of time. Please watch Nika for a while. What, what do you mean? Wait a moment. They're gone. I don't see any blood. That's a good sign, right? Alexandra should be around here. Where are they? Alexandra? Where are you? Stop shouting. You only attract the monsters. Nika told me the whole story. I'm so surprised that Alexandra and Prisaba are Fatui members. I thought they were good folks for dealing with them. Alexandra is a good person. Prithavas is tough, but also a good person. Um, but they are Fatui. Who knows that they are just acting nice, but actually with ulterior motives. I mean, I've heard plenty of shady deals with of the Fatui. Maybe they were just giving something and using saving Nika as a cover-up. They are not bad. You don't know about that, and it's not like we could find them. One of them is wounded, so according to my experience, the monsters must have 
Well. Brett, could you keep looking, please? Nika, if I wasn't here alone, I promise I would search the whole forest. But there's only me here. The monsters are wincing. And what if there's other Fatui here? <laughs> Anyways, Traveler, I say we go back to the city first. I'll report this to my superior and follow his order. Brad takes Nika and leaves. His response is just as Prisivus expected. But did they manage to get away? There's not much we could do now. Let's head back. Said if they managed to leave, they would leave a letter at the place where they were. Let's go take a look if we have time. Okay, and that was over here somewhere, right? Uh, must have been lower. Fuck, where was it? It was around here, wasn't it? Stabilize. Illusion shattered. Here we go. Order guide you. Torn to oblivion. Killing this guy because it's going to be nothing but an annoyance. There is no escape. I thought it was around here. Trying to look it up. They don't tell me exactly where All it is. The world holds dear is but a backdrop of constant. I thought it was over here. Where the fuck was it? Okay, I came from up here. Wait. Let me go try to retrace my steps. Okay, I remember I jumped over that. And then I did this. And it's right there, I believe. It was right here, right? Right here. Did they not leave a letter? Maybe I have to check on it tomorrow.
I don't see anything here. But if this isn't it, it might be that weed marker over there. It said where we first met. So it might actually be... Right here where I was talking. Ah! Why would they leave this in plain sight? Look, there really is a letter here. Open it up. The old ship left with half load cargo. My sincere gratitude, Traveler. That's all there is to the letter. They must have already left. But where could they go in that old rust bucket? That means it should be in here. Yep. Alright. No one knows who left it. Where do you want to go next? Okay, so we did find it. So the next quest we'll work on, I guess, is this one. Stamina. Actually, would it be better to walk from over? Mm hmm. Yeah, over there would be better. We well, probably shouldn't have that a bit so close. border shouldn't be so close to where you actually need to go to get up here. Okay, it says there's a- what the fuck? Oh man, I don't want to fight you. Shroom boards, do I just kill them or? Hey, you over there, the one who just hunted that wild boar with mushrooms. Can you come over here? I have something to discuss with you. Uh-oh. Looks like a hunter, so he might just want to recruit me to help him. Well, I'm really sorry if I'm bothering you, but I have something to discuss. Can I have a piece of that shroom boar you just hunted? Shroom boar? That wild boar with mushrooms on his back? Yep, exactly. They're always rolling around in the mud of Sumeru. So spores stick to their fur and grow into mushrooms. <laughs> Some say the mushrooms gradually eat away at the wild boar while they grow. Likewise, the shroom boar's meat gains a unique mushroom aroma and becomes expensive. Sounds creepy. <laughs> it's just a rumor. Shroom boars can eat the mushrooms on each other's backs during the winter or when they have nothing to eat. Mushrooms, on the other hand, can spread their spores even further with wild boars curing them. It's actually a healthy symbiotic relationship. Ooh, forgive me. I don't think I've introduced myself. I'm Shifkit. And you? This is Paimon, and I'm Jeruma. So, Jeruma and Paimon, got it. I knew you weren't ordinary when I saw how swift-footed you were while hunting that shroom boar. Actually, I'm carrying out research on wild animals, but... I can't capture those shroom boars. They either run or ram me to the ground as soon as I get close. If this goes on, my waist is going to give way before I even start my research. So when I saw how easily you took down a shroom boar, I had to try and ask if I could purchase some of its meat. Is there something special about it? Just looks like the meat from any other wild boar. Oh my, of course. We have to carry out an investigation to find out the differences. Sell it to me. I'll pay you well. I guess I'll give him the meat. Oh, thank you so much. I can carry on with my research now. Just what kind of research is Shift Kit carrying out? 
It's just an ordinary ecological survey. Sometimes I capture animals and research their growth. Just a single animal can tell me things about the recent growth of its entire colony. It's really quite miraculous. Paimon can tell how much you love animals, Chef Kit. Yes, I I've always loved them. I've spent so much time studying them, the ecology of the forest of Sumeru is absolutely fascinating. Alright, I've got the shroom boar and meat. I need a desk bird next. Druma, have you seen a desk bird before? It's a gorgeous bird found in the south of Apom Woods. It's a bird unique to Sumeru. Even the academia researchers often use it to send messages. Though it's capable of long distance travel, it hates rain and will hide away on rainy days. Well, it's time for me to go. A desk bird. I hope I'll be able to capture one on my own. <laughs> Can't keep relying on others. But if you're willing, <clears throat> I hope you'll keep an eye out for me. I'm willing to buy the desk birds you capture. Alright. So do I just go back to him or... Is it raining? I assume it's gonna be raining. Oh, I'm in a cave. Damn it. kind of expected it to rain. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't expect a withering point, but... Whatever. Should probably go through and get all them and the oculus is later. Ah, uh, are those dust birds? Ah, oh, they went hiding because it's raining. Well, the dust birds flew away all of a sudden. Guess we have to come back later. Oh well, yeah, they flew away because it's raining. That's some horse shit. Let me change the time till it stops raining. Then I'll teleport away and come back. still raining. I assume it's gonna stay raining. It's still raining. Yeah. <laughs> 
What the fuck? Okay, it says early morning or early evening. The evening's noon, right? Okay, that ain't it. Let's try here. Oh! Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. And those that come across Lior tend to stay a while. So it is where many things come to settle. Says you could use the Varuna contraption to set it to daytime. Or sunny. So where was the Varuna contraption again? Um. That ain't it, is it? No. Fuck, I don't remember. It's probably underground here. Yep. Yeah, this is set to water, okay. Oh, you gotta play the liar. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I don't need to. I'm gonna get sunny. Now if I run over there, I should be good, right? Took me way too long to figure that one out. Well, I didn't even figure it out. I looked up the quest. And they said to make a sunny do this. Oh, it says early morning. What the fuck is that? We should be good, right? Or am I gonna have to wait a day now? Because I scared them off. Might have to wait a day just because I ran over here after they were gone. That's some horse shit. Here's what I showed you. Quick game. And start it back up. If they're not here, then I'm probably have to wait till tomorrow. Not here. Stabilize. That fucking sucks. They're really gonna make it a fucking daily thing like that. That's some bullshit. <sighs> I might as well delete this because I got the quest. I guess we'll come to this one. That's some fucking bullshit. 
But this game loves time gating things. Because they're worried nobody would play their game if they aren't forced to log in different days. Someone's in danger, we've gotta help. Whew, thanks Traveler. It's good to see they're alright. It was nothing. I'm Elber, a bits of man. I was just relaxing here. Never expected to get attacked by those hilly churros. No one was protecting you? We have heard in town that normally merchants would hire the Eremites to escort their goods. Well, that cost more. The price they asked for were just uh, astronomical. I'm running a small business, can't afford that kind of price. Thought oh, well, I know a thing or two about fighting monsters anyway, and it's not a long haul, so I might as well go on my own. But I didn't expect the hilly turtles to spook my two sumpter beasts. I was run down by one before I could even react. When I came to my feet, I got kicked by the other one. Uh oh. They soon ran away and I was besieged by the hilly turtles. Lucky for me, you were here to help. But all my stuff is on those two scepter beasts. Traveler, could you please bring them back to it? Help. Could you please help bring them back for me? I don't want to get kicked. Don't worry, they are gentle in nature. It's just those hilly turtles knocked over their food. They had traveled so far with the load and were very hungry. That's why they got so restive after the food was knocked over. So they were disrupted when eating their food, and their food was messed up. Uh, Paimon is getting angry just thinking about that. You are quick to catch on to that, Paimon. Well, I'll just leave the food to you. Please feed the scepter beasts when you find them. They won't throw tantrums as long as there's food. Notice one of them knocked over the hilly turtles and ran away. Other ones seem to have been taken away by the hilly turtles. I'll mark their locations roughly and leave the rest to you, Traveler. You'll be fairly paid for the return of my goods. Is this going to cost you more than hiring a guard? Probably goods Somebody dropped by the fleeing sumter beast. Here we go. Okay, is this the chest? Oh, I guess I can't grab it. So we killed both guys for nothing. Who's the Sumter Beast? Whoa, this Sumter Beast is huge. It must hurt so bad getting kicked by it. Feed it with the food Mr. Elbert gave us. Are these enough for it? Sumter Beast gulps down the food. It seems to be in a better mood now. Seems to be in a good mood. Let's bring it back. Go back to Elbert with the Sumter Beast. I saw they lost it. Thank you, Traveler. Can't express my gratitude enough. Must check its condition now. Hope it wasn't hurt. Traveler, please help me find the other Sumter Beast. One of the locations Mr. Elder marked for us. See the footprint by the puddle? Did the Sumter Beast leave that? If I trod in the puddle, there would be water on the hooves. And it's time for the elemental site. Follow the water trail. Hmm. Well, oh, I seen this thing in my way. What are the hilly churros doing around that sumter beast? They don't seem to want to make a meal out of it. Anyway, we gotta drive them away and take the sumter beast back. Oh, <laughs> 
I hate the shorter guys. This one looks a bit irritated. Oh, look at its hooves. So sturdy. People could get stunned by a mere kick. Paimon, you can feed it. No, you go. Hurry. Please enjoy your food. Time to be slowly swallows the food. It seems less restive now. Seems less angry now. Let's bring it back. Careful, don't get kicked. Go back to Ober with the Sumter Beast. Got my two Sumter Beasts back. Thank you so much, Traveler. I'll return to the city as soon as I get the goods in order. I'll make sure to hire some escorts next time. About the goods. Um. Great, I can't thank you enough, Traveler. Could have gone broke if I'd lost the goods and these two Sumter Beasts. Don't mention it. Oh yes, your payment. Please wait a second. Please take these. I can tell from your looks that you have been venturing around. I have to be in the business of those gears. You could use all of these. The Sumter Beasts have been recovered and the goods are mostly intact. I should be off. Thanks again, Traveler. So what's the gears? I don't see any gears. I mean, is he talking about Harold's wit? Let's see, we could probably squeeze one more in here. Mmm, this looks like a good one. Turn it appear on the map. Seems familiar to Paimon. This is one of the R and R. Wait, why are there so many hilly turtles surrounding that house? Solidify. Brace yourself. Huh? These hilly turtles dropped something strange. Seems to be made out of flowers. Weird. These flowers are ordinary and were picked quite some time ago, yet they still haven't wilted. Pema can sense quite a lot of digital energy on it, and it's been discarded here too. Might be from a digital hilly churro. <laughs> must belong to Aradara. Yeah, must be. Hmm. This flower thing has so much digital energy that it doesn't even wither in the hands of the hilly churro. Maybe it's something very precious. Yep, let's return this to the Aranara as soon as possible. Let's go inside the house, Truma. Maybe whoever lost it is super bummed out right now. Written note. First few pages contain very small and scribbled writing. Oh, I can't believe there is Nara willing to be a Rashukan's friend. But a good Nara. The good Nara didn't mind timing a Rashikan, and even taught Rashikan how to write Nara words. Good Nara comforted a Rashikan when a Rashikan was frightened by a leaf that fell on his head. Good Nara is a Rashikan's friend forever. And writing becomes tinier and more flustered in the following pages. Oh no, Nara friend was taken by furry mask demon king. It has such long arms, so scary. But must save Nara, oh. Pulling pages are written in big, forceful handwriting. The furry mass demon king has been defeated. Save Nara friend, and Nara friend gave Rashikan courage. Rashikan is not the same old timid Rashikan anymore. Rashikan has courage now and bravely fought the furry mass monsters. No Nara nearby will ever have to worry about getting bullied by the furry mass monsters again. Handwriting shrieks back down in the latest pages. No, how did this happen? Rashikan's courage is missing. The courage Nara gave to Rashikan, it must have been stolen by the Furry Mass Demon King. Furry Mass Demon King's arms are very long, very scary, but Rashikan can do nothing after losing his courage. Rashikan will go looking for it in the cave to the east. Uh, so is Rashikan the Aranar who wrote all this? The writing in this journal is big at times, they're really tiny at others. Big letters are fine, but gotta say, the small ones hurt Paimon's eyes a little. Little Paimon having trouble reading those small letters? 
Hey, Paimon reads letters in normal size just fine, thank you. Paimon's just not used to reading tidy letters, that's all. <laughs> hmm, did this Arashikin not return after writing these most recent pages? Let's check out that cave in the east. The journal said that his courage is missing. Can courage really go missing? Paimon's curious. It's probably the flower. So to the east, never eat. So a cave this way. Stabilize. Tell me, please, can someone out there save Rashkan from this scary cave? Ruben, did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help. Really? <laughs> My show just ran out to you. Eh, you could run away, whatever. Mm. How am I supposed to get up there? What, just this one slime? Do I still gotta go? Oh, he came down. Are you a Rashikin? The Barashikin is indeed my name. Eek, don't come so close so quickly. Rashikin's very grateful to you two for saving me, but I must still request that you keep a certain distance. That will make a Rashikin feel a bit more comfortable. What? We just rescued you. Sorry. Sorry for my rude request. Sorry for angering you. But I've been trapped here, and I'm still... I, I haven't settled down yet. Please forgive me. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you. May Rashkan get your names? It's Paimon, and I'm Jeruma. Golden Nara, Jeruma, and Paimon. So how come you know Rashkan's name? We read the journal in the house. Go to hear Nara Jeruma read the journal and came looking for a Rashikin and rescued trapped to Rashikin. Nara is so kind and so powerful. <laughs> if Rashikin hadn't lost courage, Rashikin wouldn't have been so helpless. We read about that in the journal. What did he mean by missing courage? This is a story from long, long ago. Many moons ago, a Rashikin was just like the Rashikin now, without courage. Back then, even the sound of a twig snapping would keep Arashkin up at night. But even Tim and Arashkin had a Nara friend for a companion. That Nara friend was no mighty Nara Varuna, but was still a very good Nara. He never teased Tim and Arashkin. When Arashkin felt scared, he would hold Arashkin's hand. He was a friend Arushkin would never forget. But one day, the Nara was taken by the furry mass demon king. Wait, what's this furry mask demon king you speak of? Furry mask demon king is a furry demon king wearing a mask. Uh, yeah, sure. That's a very R&R answer. Paimon has no clue what this furry mask demon king could be. But the furry mask demon king captured a Rishkin's friend? I assume one of them big hilly trolls won't that carry the shield. Furry mask demon king was very cunning. Just thinking about it makes a Rishkin shudder. Whenever Nara friend was taken, Arishkin was afraid of getting beat up by the furry mass demon king, but was even more terrified of never seeing Nara friend again. So Arishkin tried very hard, closed eyes, grew to teeth, used hands, and hit, hit, and hit, and saved Nara friend. After that, Nara friend used flowers to make a talisman of courage. To the Rushkin. Rushkin is a good Aranara with courage, not a timid Aranara. So from then on, Arishkin had courage. But wasn't closed eyes, gritted teeth, used hands, and hit, 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 very courageous? No, Rushkin only had courage after getting it from Nara friend. But your act to save her friend was already brave. No, 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 no. Rushkin was so scared when saving Nara friend, arms and legs all shaky. But after getting courage, Rushkin's arms and legs were not weak anymore. Uh. The talisman was just a symbol. Our room is making this too complicated. 
Richkin just there is courage only when I have the talisman of courage. After courage was stolen, Rishkin came to the cave of the furry masked demon king to search, hoping to find clues for a Rishkin and find courage again. But a Rishkin ended up getting surrounded by slimes in the cave. Fortunately, the furry masked demon king didn't notice. Speaking of which, remember that thing we picked up from the Heliteros, Taruma? Do you think that's the talisman? Rushkin, we might have found the courage you lost. Really? Have you really found a Rushkin's courage? Nordruma and Paimon? Would Nordruma mind giving my courage back to me? The talisman moving with childish skills. Its meaning remains unknown. The potential energy in it keeps the flower fresh for a long time. But apart from that, there is nothing special about this talisman. Yes, this is it. This is it. This is the talisman of courage. The flower has faded a bit after being apart from Arushkin for a few days. But it's okay. Arushkin will guard it well from now on. Arushkin is a good Aranara with courage, not a timid Aranara. Thank you so much, Narajuma and Paimon. Arushkin now has courage back. Nothing can stop me. I beat Furry Mass Demon King once before, and I shall do it again. Whoa, Rushkin's attitude and tone are completely different now. Furry Mad Demon King has done a lot of evil things. Please, come with me, Nurjuruma and Paimon. With your help, we'll defeat it for sure. Rushkin th can fill it. Today will be the day it meets its end. Okay then, Jeruma. Let's go and see what on earth that Furry Mad Demon King is supposed to be. Yeah, I'm a bit curious. Do I leave the cave or go deeper? Well, I doubt it's go deeper. Or I might be going deeper. I am going deeper. Okay, so it should be over here. Oh, it must be down. Nope, it's up. Damn it, so I gotta make my way back up there. Okay, there's a jump pad here. Rush can challenge you to battle this day. Let's play. That must be Furry Mass Demon King. It was just a regular Philly churro all along. Paimon had her guesses, but as it turns out, the Furry Mass Demon King was really, really was a Philly churro all around. Long. Yeah, I was thinking regular Philly churro, but they said he had big arms, so I saw. It had to be one of the ones with a shield, but... A hilly churl. Yes, the furry mass demon king is actually a hilly churl. Are all hilly choo-choo furry mass demon kings? Uh, no. But that's all you need to know, Arushikan. Okay, Arushikan understand. Yes, with help from Narodrum and Paimon, Arushikan will lead the charge and be invincible. Even the devious furry mass demon king would be no match. Rushkin shall mark today with a big entry. Big entry? Yes, big entry and big writing. Rushkin with courage, it was out uh, sure feel like two completely different Aranara. Rushkin with no courage has weak arms and legs, but a Rushkin with courage can do all sorts of amazing feats. Courage is just the best gift from Nara friend, but also the most important thing to a Rushkin. Well, make sure you keep it safe and don't let the hilly churl steal it again. Rushkin understands. Rushkin would never let courage go missing again. Hmm. 
I guess that wasn't a bad one. I'll tell you this was it. So I'm gonna end this one here. Tomorrow. Uh oh. Oh wait, I have the quest marked here, don't I? Yeah, okay. We'll hopefully do this one tomorrow. We'll try again anyways. But if you watch this, thanks for watching. And I hope you all have wonderful lives. Peace.